Three ways to use a kneaded eraser for realistic drawing. When it comes to realistic drawing tools, your kneaded eraser is almost as important as your pencil. Let's get into why they're so great and three ways to use them. Kneaded erasers are sold in packages like this. You actually have several erasers in here because you don't have to use this entire thing at once. I like to remove a piece that's about this size and use it until it's time to replace it. I'll show you how to know when to replace it later in the video. Three factors set the kneaded eraser apart from a typical one. 1. A kneaded eraser doesn't leave residue and eraser bits on your drawing. Removing residue left by a typical eraser can easily disturb the drawing surface, especially if it's in charcoal, so most of the time it's best to avoid this. 2. Once a kneaded eraser has picked up pencil dust, you can clean it by kneading it between your fingers. Ta-da! Like magic. Most importantly, three. You can shape a kneaded eraser into different forms depending on how you intend to use it. This makes it not only an indispensable erasing tool, but a drawing tool as well. Three techniques to use with your kneaded eraser. Technique one. First, you can shape it into a pencil point and use it to lighten specific dots or small inconsistencies in value. This is extremely helpful when you get to the advanced stages of shading and refining your drawing. Technique two. You can give the eraser a flat, sharp edge, and then use this edge to either erase sharper lines, create sharper lines, or to clean up and sharpen an edge. If you're unfamiliar with the concept of edges, check out my free mini course. Technique three. You can flatten the eraser so that it has a large flat surface area. Then, using the flat underside, drag it over an area of your drawing to lighten it. This is the trickiest technique of the three. It's very easy to lift off more value than you intend to, or to erase in a streaky way. Sometimes before I use this technique, I lightly drag the eraser over a different area of my drawing to coat it in a thin layer of pencil dust. This helps me remove less value more evenly from the area that I actually want to lighten. For the most control and stability, use these techniques while anchoring your hand. I demonstrate how to do that in my How to Hold and Control a Pencil video, which I will link to below. How long will a kneaded eraser last, and when should you replace it? One of these will last for quite a while. It really depends on how much you use it, and on what kind of pencil dust you're erasing. However, eventually it will become so saturated with pencil dust that it will no longer lighten even when you need it. It may also eventually become sticky or lose its malleability. When any of these things happen, it's time to replace your eraser with a new one, because it might start leaving marks on your drawing instead of removing them. Give these techniques a try, and for more video tutorials on realistic drawing, check out my free mini course.